Well, hello, good people. Welcome back to the channel. Woo! So guys, today we are gonna talk about common mistakes that balloon decorators make when it comes to the balloon business. So let's get to mistake number one, putting confetti inside of balloons. So I used to make the mistake of putting the high float into the latex balloon after my confetti was already inside and it would cause the confetti to clump up instead of spreading out and looking super cute around my clear balloon. So what you wanna do when you're doing confetti is put a pea size of high float into your latex balloon first. Make sure you don't get it in the neck of the balloon and keep it in the bottom, rub it around a little bit. And then what you're gonna do, I've been using my fingers. I know there's tools for putting confetti. I definitely recommend those, but what you're gonna do is put your confetti inside and keep as much of your confetti in the neck of that latex balloon, and then you are going to inflate it. And when you inflate it, the confetti is gonna end up going inside of the bottom of the balloon and spreading around and it's gonna look super cute. So make sure that you do it that way so that you can get that really cute confetti balloon. Second mistake that we commonly make is that we often over inflate our balloons. Let's talk about over inflating the balloons for balloon garlands. So let's see here, this is a five inch size balloon. Watch when I over inflate it what it looks like. So here it's over inflated. That does not look like a luxurious balloon to me, right? And the balloon businesses that we want, we wanna have good price balloon decorations and we're going for that elegant, luxurious look because we're gonna profit the most from that. So don't over inflate your balloons. If it's supposed to be a five inch balloon, treat that puppy like a five inch balloon. Look how when I took away air, since it's not over inflated, it gives the color back and it's not transparent like it was before. So make sure that if you are using five inch balloons, 11 inch size balloons, whatever it is, don't go for that over inflated cone look. Take some of the air out because it's gonna make your balloon garland look more luxurious. And that's the same for when you are putting helium into latex balloons to float. Don't over inflate them. I mean, put a good amount in there so that it can float long, but you don't wanna over inflate them because they're gonna pop. And that's the last thing you want because helium is super expensive. Thirdly, a common mistake that we make is that we're not ready for crazy situations outdoors. We don't have all the proper supplies. We don't have the stakes on us. We don't have the right command hooks. We need to make sure that we're ready for every single case scenario that could go wrong outdoors. And make sure you have those supplies in your cargo van. Um, it's really hard to run to the store when you have 30 minutes before the first guest arrives, right? So make sure that before you actually go to the event, you have everything that you need with you. The next mistake that we commonly make is that we're not properly communicating with our client so that we can make sure we're meeting their expectations. When we are creating those proposals, we have to make sure that we include the colors that are gonna be used in the balloon garland. The client might say, oh, I want green, but we know there's multiple shades of green. And in their head, they could be thinking of lime green, and we could be thinking of eucalyptus green. So make sure that you're putting specific colors in your proposal. Make sure you're including a visual um, that the client can see that you're gonna use for inspiration. They're not gonna understand when we say, hey, we're gonna make a clustered balloon garland. That means nothing to them. But if we include a visual of a clustered balloon garland in which the colors are grouped together in the balloon garland, they can get a visual and understand what you're gonna do. So make sure that your proposals are very clear, that you're providing a lot of information. Let's say the balloon inspiration that you showed them in your email is way larger than their decoration is gonna be. Let them know, hey, this is just to show you the style, but your balloon decoration is going to be smaller, this here is 18 feet, and your balloon decoration is gonna be 12 feet. So communicate with them so that when you show up, they're not like, oh, that's not the shade of green that I want. Oh, that's not what I was going for. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Now, let's talk about another common mistake that we often make, and that's not getting back to our clients fast. And then we're wondering, how come we can't secure clients? It's because by the time you get back to them 24 hours late, they've already talked to another balloon decorator. But if you're getting back to them and replying fast, they're gonna be like, oh, I can trust this person. This person is professional. 
let's do it on my event date. I'm not gonna have to worry about them. I'm not gonna have to look for them. They're available now, so I know they're gonna be available for me on my event date. So make sure that you're replying back to your clients fast. Another mistake that we commonly make is our scheduling. Sometimes our events are going to kind of be like a tight squeeze in the same day. What you have to do is give your clients a delivery window. So don't say, if possible, sometimes you do have to be there at a specific time, if it's at a venue, if it's at a restaurant, but if it's at the person's house, say, hey, okay, perfect. We can arrive between 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. because that's gonna give you a bumper from another delivery that you may have. And you wanna make sure that you are committing to your promises when it comes to your arrival time. Another mistake that we make is that we only have Instagrams, we only have social media for communication. You need a website. If you want those corporate clients, you need a website. So make sure that you are working on getting a professional looking website so you can secure those corporate clients. It's definitely gonna bring you more business. Corporate clients are awesome too, guys, because they're not micromanaging you because they already have 30 other things. They just wanna make sure that their boss is happy that all they want, and it's not their money either, so you're not gonna find them like micromanaging everything. Their budgets are higher, so definitely follow that tip so that you can secure corporate clients. Guys, I hope this helped. I hope these tips were helpful for you, honestly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, good people.